Hi, this is Lashley Rice from reporting for sportsreview.com. Joining us now is Alex from Embit Casino. Uh, we just had a look at the Champions League uh, draw and futures. We now move to the Europa League. Um, and another big upset here happened. Dortmund, the competition favourites, uh, was thrown out by Liverpool. Uh, they beat them 5-4 in aggregate, with many saying it was probably the best match all season. What did you think of the match? And is Liverpool now the right favourites? And that's plus 184, 88 Sport. I think it was the best match of the season. I said it also also on Facebook, also on Twitter. Uh, it should be a match of, for Champions League final. Uh, I believe that uh, this is uh, what we had to see, what, what we have to see in Champions League final. Uh, both teams uh, really good prepared, uh, a great match, great football. But the difference, I think, that it, it was done. It was done at halftime by uh, Jurgen Klopp, the manager of Liverpool the ex-manager of Dortmund. Uh, I think that is clearly for us right now that Liverpool can uh, can win against any team and uh, not with huge name on the bench. I think that they are the favorites right now uh, with uh, all the teams that are uh, re- all, all the teams that remain uh, for the semi-finals they are the the, the favorites. Mm-hmm. All right, we've got two matches there taking place um, on Thursday, 28th. They are as follows, Shakhtar Donetsk versus Sevilla, and then uh, Villarreal versus Liverpool. Uh, who do you like in the first match there, Shakhtar Donetsk versus Sevilla? Who's going to win? Uh, I have two bets, uh, one bet for every match. Uh, neither of them are coming from the winner's market. I think that Shakhtar with Sevilla, uh, we will assist at uh, over 2.5 goals in the match, priced at uh, minus 125 with bet 365. And the second one, Villarreal with Liverpool. Also, Villarreal, Villarreal when they are playing home, they are scoring uh, in 90% of the times. So uh, this is why I base my bet. Villarreal uh, versus Liverpool, both to score at an odd of uh, minus uh, 105 with bet 365. With Bet365. Okay, now we're going to run down um, through a few of the sort of the outrights here, the futures uh, that we've got available to us. Uh, first of all, is who will we see in the finals? Now, you don't sound as confident as you were with the Champions League. Are you confident on these results? One of them, I am really sure. I think that Liverpool, we will see them in the finals. Okay. Uh, but from the other match, uh, which uh, is between Shakhtar and Sevilla, even though everybody is saying that Sevilla are the favourites, uh, they will be the third time in a row in the final. I think that Shakhtar will put them a lot of problems. Uh, let's say that we will, cho- we will choose from those one uh, who will see in the finals Liverpool versus Sevilla at an odd of uh, plus one thirty-seven, but I'm not really sure about it. So minimum stake on that one. All right, and then straight forecast as well. Is this something that you're you're not too sure about? No, if I don't uh, see, I, I think uh, uh, my best bet uh, from all of those is uh, Liverpool uh, to win uh, the trophy at a note of uh, plus 184 with uh, 888 Sports. All right. So would you say, because you, you don't sound as confident, is this something maybe after the first leg, this is maybe something we get back together and then have a look at the odds and based on their sort of next performance? Absolutely. I would like to see how Shakhtar will perform home. Uh, in the in the previous round, they did it really well. I think that they will put a lot of problems to Sevilla. This is why I said over 2.5 goals, because I see both uh, both sides scoring and uh, over 2.5. So it will be a very very intense match for both teams. So everything will be a decider in the second leg. Yeah, all right then. So well, let's get together then in the second leg. But for now, Alex has given us two tips based on the first leg matches. Uh, so do be sure to have a look at those. And also let me know what you think. If you've got a, a sort of a stronger opinion there on the outright, uh, do let me know in the comments section below. Alex, thank you for joining us.